All right, number two of iPhone audio video. Ignore the lack of games behind me. I am currently in the process of packing for my move and that's what you gotta do. You gotta put things in boxes so you can transport them. I've got all my rare stuff here in this tub so I can keep them out of the storage unit, keep them out of whatever elements they might be exposed to in there. So today, we're gonna revisit an old topic that I did. I think it was actually the first video I ever made on here. I did a video about quick and dirty ways to spot fake N64 cartridges. You can watch that by clicking this card up here. So today, we're gonna revisit that and talk, do the same thing for Super Nintendo games. So let's jump over there to the table and start digging in and seeing what we can see. Now over the years, as people have gotten better and better at faking these cartridges, these tells are becoming more and more prominent on faked cartridges. Seeing these is not necessarily a guarantee that you have an original cartridge, but if any of these are missing, you definitely have a fake. Now, if you watch my video on the N64 cartridges, then you're gonna notice a lot of the same tells on Super Nintendo cartridges as you would on Nintendo 64 cartridges. Notably on the back, you can see a two or three digit number embossed into the back sticker. This is a quality control stamp that tends to not exist on reproduction cartridges. At the very least, your official cartridges are going to have this stamp. Another tell you can quick, you can check at a glance is look inside of the cartridge slot here. On original cartridges, there will be some combination of letters and numbers and it should have it on both sides of the shell. Let's take a look at Kirby's Dream Course. You can see over here. And here. Another thing you can kind of tell at a quick glance is how the cartridges actually look. The last Super Nintendo game produced in the US came out in 1998. It was Frogger, for those wondering. Nintendo ceased production of Super Nintendo games in the US in 99, so these games are at the very least 23 years old. So if you've got one that looks and feels brand spanking new, then you've got yourself a problem. Another tell is the actual feel of the cartridge. The reproduction shells are generally made by taking and making a mold of one of these cartridge shells. So the actual texturing on the plastic of the cartridge is going to be fairly different on a proper release versus a reproduction release. Another thing to look at is the actual artwork. Now, I don't have a reproduction here to show what I actually mean by this, but you can look up images online to see reproduction artwork versus proper artwork. The artwork tends to be a little different. It's nowhere near as sharp as it should be. The proper artwork is always very crisp. It's not blurry in the slightest bit. It's not grainy, it's not pixelated. It is very sharp artwork. Harder to tell in a YouTube video and very definitely harder to tell if you don't have two side by side. I've seen photos, I've held reproductions in my hand and you can definitely tell the difference in the artwork. Another thing to look out for whenever you're looking at these cartridges is these screws that are actually holding the cartridge together. As you can see, they are a brassy, bronzy looking color and they are this hex drive bit called a game bit. Let's see if I can get that to focus. They are this hex drive looking thing that's known as a game bit driver. These are really specific screw heads that are very, that you really only ever see on game cartridges. If they look like they're made of plastic or worse, they are a Phillips drive screw you got yourself a fake. Let's be real, the only surefire way you can tell that you have a real cartridge is by looking at the board. So let's take this apart and let's show you what you're looking for. Any reputable seller of these games is going to let you see the board to prove that it is a real cartridge, especially if you get into the more expensive games like your Chrono Triggers and your Earthbounds. And there we go. Now if we take this out and flip it around, You're gonna notice one of the biggest giveaways right up here on the top of the board, this 1994 Nintendo imprinted on the PCB here. Again, not saying a reproduction can't have this, but if it doesn't have this on here, it is definitely a fake. And then another thing that these the reproductions still aren't, aren't quite getting right, generally on some of these pieces on the board here, you're gonna have that Nintendo stamp on some of them as well, as you can see right here. But again, any reputable source uh, for you to actually get these games is going to let you see the board. Whether that be an online seller or somebody selling these at a convention. Especially when you get into your rarer titles like your Chrono Triggers and your Earthbounds. 
so there we go. There's you some quick ways that you can take a look at a Super Nintendo cartridge and say, oh yeah, that one's real, that one's fake. This one could be real, but it might still be fake, but that one's definitely fake. Real quick video this week, I'm finding it hard to find time to get these while I'm get these all together while I'm packing, but I'm doing my best to keep content flowing to you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Have a good one, y'all.